Hello Grade 9 Math Talino and Math Galing students! Are you ready to have fun with math? I am Teacher Badef, your study buddy in this video lesson. Before we begin, let us have first a few reminders. First, stay alert and focus on the video lesson. Second, prepare your pen and your paper for your answer sheets. Third, you may pause the video and play it back to understand more our lesson. And the last one is to sit back, relax, and enjoy. Do you want to play a game? That's great! Because I have prepared something for you, my dear students. It is a word-guessing game and I call it, What Word? In this game, you are going to guess using the definition of the word and a picture clue. Take note that you are given 10 seconds. Are you ready? Let's begin. First word, it is a different form of something. It is a nine-letter word. What do you think is the word? Your timer starts now. What do you think is the word? Very good. It is variation. Second, it is moving from one place to another by the shortest way without changing the direction or stopping. It is a six-letter word. Your timer starts now. What do you think is the word? Exactly. The word is direct. Third, occurring continuously over a period of time. The clue picture is change. What could be the relation to the puzzle word? Timer starts now. What do you think is the word? Very good. It is constant. Let us now move on to the last word. It is a relationship between two quantities normally expressed as the quotient of one divided by the other. Your timer starts now. What do you think is the last word? Very good. The word is ratio. How did you find our game? That is nice to hear. Let us recall the words. We have variation, direct, constant, and ratio. Remember these words and count the number they appear on the video lesson. If you get the correct answer, you will be rewarded. Can you guess our topic based on the game? Obviously, based on the game, this video lesson will be about variation. And at the end of the lesson, you are expected to define variation and direct variation. Second, identify statements that illustrate direct variation. Third, Determine direct variation given table of values. And the last one is to relate direct variation to real-life situation. Let's begin with variation. So what is variation? Variation is a relationship between two different quantities. For example, the relationship between a light blue and a dark blue. And the relationship between a solo dance and a group dance. Basically, we have four kinds of variation. Direct, inverse, join, and combined. In this video lesson, we are just going to focus on direct variation. 
Direct variation is the relationship between two quantities whose ratio remains constant. Meaning, a quantity is directly proportional to the other quantity. What does that mean? For example, the effort you exert in answering your modules. The more effort you exert, the higher the grades. In the contrary, the less effort you exert, the lower the grades. Another example, the hour you spend in traveling depends on the speed of the car. The faster you drive, the faster you get to your destination. Those are examples of statements that illustrate direct variation. Now, it is your turn. Can you think of situation 2 that illustrates direct variation? Going back, direct variation is the relationship between two quantities, x and y, that can be written as y is equal to kx, where k is not equal to 0. y is equal to kx may read as y varies directly as x. y is directly proportional to x or y is proportional to x. In the equation y is equal to kx, k is the constant of variation that relates the two variables. Let us now try translating statement into an equation. Use k for the constant of variation. First, the distance d traveled by a car varies directly as its speed s. The two variables are distance t and the speed s. Therefore, the equation is d is equal to ks. Second, the cost C of fish varies directly as its weight W in kilograms. The two variables are cost C and weight W. Therefore, the equation is C is equal to KW. Third, the fare F of a passenger varies directly as the distance D of his destination. The fare F and distance D are the two variables. Therefore, the equation is F is equal to KD. Next, an employee's salary is varies directly as the number of days D he has worked. Salary S and days D are the two variables Therefore, the equation is S is equal to KD. Let us have this table. Let us solve for the values of Y with respect to the values of X with the constant of variation equal to 4. Let us solve for the value of Y if the value of X is equal to 1. Y is equal to 4 which is the constant of variation multiplied to 1, which is the value of x. The answer is 4. So the value of y is equal to 4 when the value of x is equal to 1. Next, y is equal to 4 multiplied to the value of x, which is 2, that is equal to 8. Lastly, y is equal to 4 times the value of x which is 3 is equal to 12. Now observe the values of x and y. What can you notice? While looking, you can notice that when you divide the values of y to x, the result is 4, which is the value of the constant of variation. In direct variation, we can solve for the value of k by dividing the value of y to the value of x or we have k is equal to y over x. Look again in the table. You can notice that as the value of x increases, the value of y also increases. 
On the counterpart, as the value of x decreases, the value of y decreases as well. And that is the relationship of two variables or quantities in direct variation. Let's have an activity. Identify whether the given statements or table of values are direct variation or not. First, the amount of money raised in a concert to the number of tickets sold. What do you think? Is this a direct variation or not? This is a direct variation because the more tickets sold, the more money raised. Next, the number of persons sharing to the size of the slices of the pizza. This is not a direct variation because the more person sharing, the lesser the size of the slices of the pizza. Third, we have table of values with the value of x, 2, 3, 4, and 5, while the values of y, 4, 6, 8, and 10. To determine if this is direct variation, we have to identify the value of k by dividing y to x. So 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2, 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2, 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2, 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. The values of k are same. Therefore, this is an example of direct variation. Lastly, table of values with the value of x, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The values of y, 8, 9, 12, and 15. Let us identify the value of k by dividing y to x. First pair, 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4, 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3, 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3, and 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. Obviously, this is not an example of direct variation because the constant of variations are different. Can you now guess how many times these words appear? Send me a private message and let's see if you are correct. How did you find our lesson? I hope you enjoy it. You are now ready to answer your modules. Go get that module and mail it. Remember this quote from the late Kobe Bryant. Great things come from hard work and perseverance. See you in our next lesson. Bye!